Good morning, Bulldogs. I'm Mr. Glanz. And I'm Mrs. Cape. Today is Thursday, December 3rd, and we would like to wish a very happy birthday to Selma N. Now listen up, Bulldogs, because we've got all the news to start your day. Hey guys. Okay, so some of you have, may have seen around that people were giving out some free tickets. You'd have to write your name and grade on them. And we, uh, you could enter for a draw to win some goodies. So we are gonna pick two names right now. So let's see who wins. The first one is Isaiah Benjamin in grade 10. And the second one is Juliana in grade nine. Make sure to, make sure to message SWC uh, Council on Instagram to pick up your prize. And another super exciting announcement from our student council here at Sir Winston. As you all know, this past week, uh, we've been fundraising for Adopt a Family in partnership with Community Care. Sir Winston has taken on eight families within the Niagara region to help provide a magical holiday season for. So we have some very exciting news. Uh, Maya? We actually raised $3,000, which is $500 over our goal. So thank you to everybody who helped donate. We really appreciate it. And we know that the families in the community will appreciate it as well. Again, we raised $3,000. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, this is Mr. Watson for the uh, Muslim Student Association. Today we have Friday prayer in the auditorium at 12 p.m. For all grades, uh, 9, 10, 11, and 12, the sermon will begin at 12, 10. Assalamu alaikum. Attention all girl basketball players, please return your uniforms as soon as possible to Mr. Keltos in the co-op office. Thank you. There's an important meeting for girls hockey players in the SHSM room at lunchtime today. You will receive your schedule as well as other important information. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Cook or Mr. Glantz. video by me, Mr. Glantz, <laughs> him, Mr. Glantz, about the Jewish holiday Hanukkah. Hi, Mr. Glantz here, and I'm here to give you an abridged version of the story of Hanukkah. Hanukkah, the festival of lights. There are eight days in Hanukkah. Hanukkah, we light candles. We have eight candles, one for each day. And we also play games. One of them is spin the dreidel. So we take our dreidel and we spin it and it'll land on a letter, one of four letters. And if you get the right letter, uh, win, lose, tie, or double your winnings, then you would win some gelt or money. But it's not really money, it's chocolate. Um, so Hanukkah. Festival of lights, lots of fun, and gifts for the kids. I hope everyone has a good holiday. Watch this informative video about gender-based violence. Hey guys, have you seen the bulletin board in between the washrooms upstairs? Yeah, you have? I think I have, yeah. The ones with gender-based violence? Yeah. 
what even is that? Like, how do we how do we make a change? Yeah, I think, and I think we all agree that gender-based violence is a massive problem in today's society. It is. Um, but change isn't something that happens overnight. So we need to realize that change is a slow-moving process. Um, so we have to be patient and consistent with our progress. Um, we also need to remember that when we get discouraged, um, it's not a reflection of no progress, but just that we gotta keep keep trying and keep making change. Um, if we all stand together, change can and will happen, I think. Yeah, a, a question we all ask is how do we even start change? None of us are Albert Einstein or Sir Winston Churchill, so it's hard being in that role of being the creator of change. But a wise man once said, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is gonna get better. It's not. And that's a quote by Dr. Seuss. There's power in numbers, and if you genuinely care about fighting gender-based violence, please stand with us and, and the rest will play itself out. Yeah, so the first step of change is recognizing, you know, what happened. If you've been a victim of gender-based violence, then you need to speak up and recognize that it's a real problem. So, me so many media sources, you know, romanticize this topic, but it's not good whatsoever. We need to be able to see this problem for what it is, and if one person starts to bring this topic to light, then it'll create a domino effect. Yeah, and so once one person speaks up and shares what happened, um, I think a lot of people will feel more comfortable coming up and coming forward to, to stop this. So um, there's power in numbers, and I think that um, it just starts with one person, and then the rest will follow, and the rest will play itself out. Um, and with um, with mass people coming forward, change is bound to happen. Yeah. So we need someone needs to start this change, right? So people need to stop being bystanders. Just because someone else hasn't started doesn't mean you can't. You could be the one to really make the change. And what we need to do is stop stop being bystanders. Damn it! Can we restart? <laughs> Damn it! Can we restart? <laughs> Today's weather is cloudy with a high of minus 20. No, just kidding. A high of 2 degrees and a low of 0. Until further notice, there will not be a school nurse available in the building. However, if you are looking to speak with a school nurse any day of the week, between 11 and 4 p.m., please refer to the poster found outside the room to the left of the main office. You can connect with a nurse via live chat by scanning the QR code on your laptop, tablet, or phone. Today's specials in the calf are pulled pork on a bun for $4.75, chicken fingers and fries for $5.25, and lasagna for $5.25. Also, more importantly, the first student to find the elf on the shelf in the calf each day will win a free cookie. Nice, lucky kid. That's all the news we have. For you today, Bulldogs, I would like to take a second to thank the Grade 12 Challenge and Change class who have provided us with the gender-based violence videos all week. Thank you so much for doing such a great job. Also, I just want to say Happy Hanukkah oh, to Mr. You. Glantz and anybody else in our school community and families who are celebrating. Don't forget to follow our Instagram account at SWCTV. 2022 for school updates and to look behind the scenes of our morning show. Thanks for watching and we hope everyone has a fabulous Friday.